Hey peeps, what's up Manji here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the backup location for your iPhone backup on your macOS from internal storage to an external drive. Now everybody knows iPhones are available in like one terabyte of storage options. However, if you were to buy one TB of storage drive option for your MacBook, you would be bankrupt by now but you always have the option of using an external drive now apple does not make it easy because when you connect your iphone to your mac you do not get the option of choosing where you can store the backup of your iphone but we do have a pretty easy way of changing the location so first thing we need to do is you will tap on the apple icon on the top left then you will go into system preferences once you are in system preferences you will go into security and privacy here in tap on this lock here to make changes it is going to ask you for your password so go ahead and enter the password now once you have entered the password select unlock next thing you need to do is scroll on this menu over here and select full disk access make sure you check the option for terminal it will tell me it will not have full disk access unless you quit it so i'm going to say quit and reopen so that is going to quit the terminal application and then reopen it for me for now i am going to close this and we can close this security and privacy window as well next up back to our finder make sure your iphone is connected and make sure your external drive wherein you want to create the backup of your iphone is also connected go to the iphone tab and here in select manage backups as you can see i do not have any backup of this device on this macbook next thing you need to do is you will go to this external drive right and here in right click and create a new folder with the name backup and make sure that the b is capital so caps b and then backup now this folder you can create within a subfolder within the root directory of your external drive anywhere you want to now another important thing which you need to remember or note down is that let us say your iPhone is 128 GB and you have 130 GB of free space on your external drive. It is not necessary that the backup will be stored. So it is always preferable to have more free space, right? 130 might not work. You might get an error when you are backing up. So make sure you have around 150 or 160 GB of free space available on your external hard drive if your iPhone is 128 GB. Next thing you need to do is you need to tap on the go option on the top. So here it select go, then you will select go to folder. Here in this is the path which you need to enter library and once you have entered this path you are going to press the enter key on your keyboard so this is going to open up the library here and go into application support once you are in application support you need to look for something named mobile sync or mobile sync so here it is mobile sync let us go inside this and here and you will find a folder called backup so this is where the backups of your iPhone are stored on your internal storage on your Mac. And these here are backups which I might have taken for some other iPhones. Now we can go back. Next thing we need to do is we need to open the path or the backup folder in the external drive in another window. So let me open this wallpaper folder. We can go to our external drive and go to this backup folder first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and move the existing contents so we have these backups in our mobile sync folder on our internal storage so you can take these and move these to your external drive that is the first thing which we are going to do now once you've copied all the folders which were inside the backup folder of your internal storage to the external storage right then we can go back and we can delete this backup 
folder now in case you did not have any folders inside the backup folder nothing to worry your backup folder on the external drive will be empty then for your mobile sync we can go back so we are in the application support folder and the next thing on your external drive also you can go back and we can see the backup folder the next thing we need to do is we need to open terminal so how do you open terminal you can press the command and spacebar on your macbook or your mac and that is going to open spotlight search once spotlight search has opened you can type in terminal and then you will see terminal app so we are going to select this terminal and that is going to open a terminal window for us now here and all you need to do is type in this command so you're going to type in ln space hyphen s space and then we need to plug in a few paths so the first path which we need to plug in is the backup folder on our external drive so i'm just going to drag and drop this over here the next thing which we need to drag and drop is your mobile sync folder so drag and drop this and do note there should be a space between the external drive backup folder and the one for mobile sync once this is done all you need to do is press the enter key on your keyboard now if i go inside the mobile sync folder now you will see i have something called backup if i select this i have the same contents over here which are on my external drive so basically we have created a link to the backup folder on my external drive inside the mobile sync folder on my internal storage this is going to trick your itunes or your finder to think that the backup is being created on the internal storage whereas in actual it is being created on the external drive so now if i go ahead and select backup now it should create a backup of the iphone 12 mini and i might have to enter the password on my iphone 12 mini for it to start the process and there it is the backup process finished successfully as you can see last backup to this mac today at 3 20 pm if i go into manage backups it is showing me the backup for this specific device and now another thing you might ask me is hey manji what if i want to unlink it well it is pretty easy so we tap on go once again we select go to folder we go to library and here and we go into application support once you're in application support go into mobile sync then you need to open terminal you need to type in unlink space and then drag and drop this backup which you see with the arrow beside it press the enter key and bam there it is you see it disappeared from mobile sync which means that it is no longer linked to the external drive and in case you want to link it again again you enter the same command ln space hyphen s drag and drop the external path followed by the internal path and then press the enter key and there it is backup is once again available inside the mobile sync go inside this and you have your folders which are in actual present on the external drive and there it is peeps that is how you back up your iphone to an external drive on your mac